Hey, what's up you guys? This is a video tutorial for the Silver Sing song, The End, and I'm going to show you some of the guitar parts that are played in the song. Okay, so here's what you want to do about the first part. First, you want to ha pluck your the open A string along with the open E string with your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the G string and your index finger on the third fret of the B string. Here's a small clip to show how it's done. Okay, for the next part, you want to keep your pinky finger on the 5th fret and your index finger on the 3rd fret and then move your 3rd finger to the 5th fret of the D string and you want to pluck that at the same time as you pluck the E string. Okay, in the last part, you simply just want to take your 3rd finger off the 5th fret and then move your middle finger to the 3rd fret and then pluck that along with the E string. So here's how the whole thing should be played. Okay, so here comes the next part of the riff. Okay, so that last part after the opening intro is just a standard power chord. You just want your index finger on the 5th fret and your pinky on the 7th fret. And then you just move it on up to the 3rd fret with your index finger and your pinky on the 5th fret. Alright, and for the next part, you want to strum on the open A string about six times, and then you want to pull off on the B string from the third fret to the first fret and on to the second fret on the G string. Then comes step two, where you just want to play the open E string and move to the B string with your first finger on the first fret, and then move to the G string with your middle finger on the second fret. Then the second part, you just strum six times on the third fret of the D string, and then once again you pull off from the third fret to the first fret on the B string, then you land right on the second fret of the G string. Now we move to the next part. Now to show how it's done. Okay, now for the first step, what you want to do is you want to have your third finger on the 12th fret of the A string, and you want to have your index finger on the 10th fret of the D string, and you want to have your pinky finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Then you move to step two, where you move your index finger to the 8th fret of the A string, then you place your third finger to the 10th fret of the D string, then you keep your pinky on the G string on the 12th fret. 
And as for step three, you just move your index finger to the seventh fret on the A string and just keep your fingers on the tenth and twelfth fret. Okay, now we move on to the chorus riff. Okay, so the first thing you want to do for the chorus riff is you want to place your index finger on the fifth fret on the low E string. And then you want to have your third finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And then you want to have your pinky on the fifth fret of the G string. And step two is just a standard power chord. You move your index finger on the third fret of the A string. And you move your third finger to the fifth fret of the D string. And then you move your pinky to the fifth fret of the G string. And step three, you just move your index finger to the first fret on the low E string and your third finger to the third fret on the A string and your pinky finger on the third fret of the D string.